has a lot. So, how would you like to read Chin Yu Men and the Ginger Cat? Because at first, Chin Yu Men is very greedy and yells at her servants. She tells them to leave when her husband died, and she became very poor. In addition, a ginger cat comes and gets her some fish to eat, and she is happy, but she wonders, I am eating a fish today, but what will I eat tomorrow? Then she comes with, up with an idea, and looks out the window to see if the ginger cat was still there, and she was still there. So, she went to the dock and asked the ginger cat to come and live with her. And the ginger cat said, yes. And Chin Yun Min became greedy again, until the ginger cat ran away. Chin Yun Min was very sad. There's a very nice ending, but I won't tell you. Oh, you can probably guess the ending by just looking at the front cover. I feel like I'm in the book. says that he kept fixing his mistakes until he felt like he was the characters in the book. Chin Yu Min was greedy, but the ginger cat figured out that she was being greedy, so she left. This book is very cool because he can make inferences that the ginger cat was sent from God. This book reminds me of Star Wars because Anakin turns to the dark side and after a while he turns back to the good side. <coughs> and in Chin Yu Min and the Ginger Cat, at first Chin Yu Min is good and then when her husband died she became very greedy and became even more greedy when a ginger cat came and lived with her because the ginger cat got her fish. when beggars came, she scolded them and told them to let when the ginger cat was done fishing for the day. And then, one day, the ginger cat ran away, and she wasn't greedy anymore. So, that's why it reminds me of Star Wars, except in Chin Yu Min and the ginger cat, there's no fight. Your friend, Benjamin O'Connor.